Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother, Wal Rumya, back with another lesson. Lord, wouldn't it be edifying? I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Wahara Kakwadash, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And Shalom to the 144,000, the one third man, woman, and children that will escape the judges of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. I uh, just want to get this lesson in um, going into the uh, the birth pains that you see all around the earth, man. This is just basically a sign of the return of Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. So I got a couple of videos, and then I got a couple of uh, some scriptures to go behind that. So let's get to it. And this was in, it's going to say it. see man the destruction that came <laughs> that fast man it's been happening all over the globe man just tornadoes earthquakes tornadoes earthquakes back to back to back and as you've seen the ninth that was today that was today that happened today man so the lord is showing you the birth pains man the earth is is is, is being moved man being prepared for you how about shimmy i was shot to return now check this out this is what's coming next week it's about to get cold. I'm talking record-breaking cold. Hi, I'm Peyton, a meteorology student at OU, here to keep you weather aware. This is the Climate Prediction Center 6 to 10 day temperature outlook, and you can see that a good portion of the U.S. is about to be below average. Anywhere in the blue is temperatures that are going to be below average for this time of year climatologically. And compared to normal temperatures all around, it's going to be cold in the U.S. And if you're from the South, cold as in February 2021 possible cold. Yeah. Taking a look at a few of the models, again, this is days out. Going into next weekend, we still got a week, but the wind chills are going to be feeling it below zero. I'm talking about below teens, below 20s, below 30. DFW is going to feel like one degree. Kansas City, nearly negative 20. Oklahoma City and Tulsa, negative 27. Incredible. Chicago's going to feel like 13 degrees. And it's not just one model showing those outrageous temperatures. No, it's multiple models. Negative 30s. I think everyone was just collectively complaining that December was too warm and Mother Nature decided to wake up. So the weather is changing, man. And on top of the weather being <clears throat> real cold, you have snowstorms, rainstorms that's going to turn into ice. So you have all these things coming next week, man. We have all these things coming next week. So we can prepare it. Um, you know, mentally and spiritually for what's coming, man, because I do work outside, so those times is coming uh, on the earth is going to be real cold, man, and I already know it. I'm preparing myself mentally for that time that's coming. Now, as you see right here in Belgium, she's going to explain to you tornadoes don't usually hit that area. Now, check this out. Did you ever see a tornado in Belgium? Well, it was on January 3rd of this year. It's the first time I have ever seen one in this area. Don't you think it's strange and not typical? We are used to seeing tornadoes in America, but not in countries like this. Also, last December, there was a tornado in Ireland, and the locals were shocked because it was the first time they had encountered it. Are you prepared for the possibility that climate servers could drop but your house at any moment? I'm not scaremongering. Just look at how fast the world is changing. And there are more and more climate disasters. But you know, it's not that hopeless. There is a solution. I recommend you check out the form Global Crisis Responsibility. Find out what's really happening to our planet and tell others. And when people know about it, we will create a request to the scientists and solve the problem. It's time to be responsible for the house we all live on and yeah we see that these things are happening all over the world man 
And she's saying, what happened to our earth, man? We know Esau on the left-hand side is doing different things to the earth. But we know this, is, this earth is giving the birth pains, man. The birth pains are being seen all over the earth, man. Now you're seeing the animals, man. I, just, I want to play this, man, because the earth is rising up, man. They know something is happening. You see all those crows, man. Just a, a omen, man. You see all the animals and stuff at one spot. You know some major's coming, man. A scary vision of what's coming on the earth, man. And I just pulled this up. The earthquakes just happened in the last couple days. You see January fifth. One. This is a. I ain't gonna name all of them. In California, four point seven. Uh, Bolivia, five point four. And that was today. And you see Japan today. 5.9. Tang uh, Tongo, 5.7. But you, as you see, oh, on and on and on. Yesterday, yesterday, day before yesterday, New Zealand had two back to back. Well, same one. But you see, man, the 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 earth is 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 is, is getting prepared for the Lord return. Now check this out. This happened a day nine hours ago. You just seen in Japan. It says Central Japan earthquake uh, quake death toll tops 200, over 100 unaccounted for. So the Lord is, man, stirring this place up, man. He's stirring this place up. And you, you see that um, as the earth is being turned upside down, the animals are, are coming out, man, and showing you that something ain't right, man. The Lord is making major moves on the earth, man, and we can't warn you enough. This is... um. Isaiah 29, and I'm getting to King James, 29 and verse 6. It says, Thou shalt be, Slaki, it says, Thou shalt be visited of your how by Shimei Shai of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storms and tempests and flames of devouring fire, man. So alert the Lord, your how by Shimei Shai is visiting the earth. We're seeing the hand of the Lord all over the place, man. We're seeing the hand of the Lord all over the place, man. And this is the time to repent, man, because as you see the birth pains of the earth, you know the Lord is close to shutting this thing down, man. And during those storm, the, the, that major storm that's coming, that cold front, it's going to cut the power out in a lot of places, man. Because you got snowstorms coming with it, rain storms turning into ice. It, it's going to get real bad, man. And like I said, I work outside, so I, you know, like I said, I, I gotta prepare myself mentally for that, man. That cold, man, is different than the heat. This is a uh, Matthew twenty-four, and I'm gonna start at verse four. I'm gonna go back up to four. It says, "This is Yahweh Shah speaking." It says, "And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you." And that's those men that's calling on the wrong name of the Lord, man. It says, "For many shall come in my name, saying." I am Hamashiach and shall deceive many. And like I said, we went in a lesson yesterday showing you the examples of people claiming to be the Lord, man, Yahweh Shah. It says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. We're seeing it all over the earth, man. Now Taiwan is saying that China's about to uh, invade, man. America giving, um, uh, was it Yemen, an uh, ultimatum before their attack. Jordan coming out saying that they they uh the um they're giving a warning to America uh if uh the small hatters don't stop the war in Gaza, man. So this thing is picking up, man. The, the scriptures are jumping right off the page. Verse six again it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See, all, everything must come to pass that was that that was written. It has to come to pass. And we're seeing it come to pass right before your eyes, man. It says, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And they, and Slaka, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, man. 
And we're showing you the famine is coming, man, because that war is is causing it that 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 the trade route to be altered, man. They have to go a different route, man. And they have to go all the way to down to the bottom of of um of Africa. So that that's going to that's going to create a famine. And also what in south south of Florida, man, they, they got a, a a deadly disease, man, down there. And they're not putting it on the news. And they said it's not the uh the C the C the C V. They said it's not that, but it has it is hitting all age groups, man. Young and old, man. And they said it's putting water in your lungs and fluid on your heart. And the people are don't have enough, they don't have enough space in the hospitals, man, to, to house the people, man. So that sickness is, is being stirred up as well, man. So everything is is right in front of us, man. Finna come to pass. And that's why we continue to prophesy to you to repent to the Lord, man. To repent to the Lord. Because it's not going to be like the last CV. It's going to be deadlier. And if the Lord is not with you, you're not going to make it, man. If the Lord is not with you, you're not going to make it, man. That's just plain, man. Verse 7 again, it says, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquake in diverse places, man. We just seen the earthquakes in diverse places, man. All over. He says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. All these are the beginning of sorrows. When you see these things coming, you know sorrows is close, man. Let me get verse 8 in the NLT, man, because right here it says, but all this, all this is only the first of the birth pains. See that? All this is the beginning of the first birth pains, man. That's what it says right here. All, all these are the beginning of birth pains in our V, man. These are the birth pains of the earth you're seeing. We're seeing the birth pains of the earth. Because the Lord is about to return, man. And a lot of people are going to be sorrowful when you howl by Shem Yahushua returns, man, because they didn't repent. I'm, sp I'm speaking of the uh, the two thirds of our people. This is a good news translation. It says, all these things are like the first pains of childbirth. So what's coming on the earth is like the beginning of the, the pains, man. It's the beginning of the pains, man. And the only way out of it is through the name and power of Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. It says all these are the beginning of sorrows. And we know famine, the, the pestilence, and the earthquake in diverse places are the beginning of the birth pains. So we're in that, that first step to, to the Lord returns, man, and bringing destruction on the earth. Verse 9, it says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So we know the man of the Lord will be persecuted, man. It's written. It's written for us to be persecuted. Now we're seeing the birth pains come on, come in the past. So we have to be prepared for these things to come. Continue to have your faith built up in your how about Shem Yahushua, man. And we know the, the, these things. We know what we signed up for. We know what we believe and have faith in. The Lord didn't put, is not going to put too much on us, man. So this is not the time to get weak, but get stronger because you know the Lord is dealing with you. If, 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 when you see these things coming to pass, you know the Lord is dealing with you, man. This is Luke 21, verse 10. And it says, Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and, earth, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famine and pestilence and fearful sights of, and great signs shall there be from heaven. He says, but before all these things, before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to be to the synagogue and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. See, the Lord said for my name's sake. So if you call it on your how, if you ain't not, if you're not calling on your how by Shem Yahushua, you're not standing stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. This is very important, man. Call on the right name. That's what's going to be your, you want to be your way out, man. That's going to be the symbol of, uh, of our hope, man. 
in the name of the Lord, man. That's our hope. Verse 13, it says, and it shall turn, it's like, and, they sh and it shall turn you to, it's like, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. See that? Call it a name in the testimony we have through Yahweh Bashim El Shah. It's going to be a testimony for us, man. And let me get that in another translation just to make it plain. New Living Translation, it says, but this will be your opportunity to tell them about me. See that? If you're not calling the name of the Lord, how are you going to tell them about Yahweh Shai, man? We're going to stand boldly in the face of the devil, man. Tell them Yahweh Shai is coming, man. He has our protection, man. Same thing that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, man. He stood before the king in, in, in profession, how about Shem Shah? Daniel as well, man. So we have examples of, of what's, what's going to happen in that time, man. And the Lord said he's going to speak to us. So, man, this is we're living in beautiful times, man. Good News Translation says, this will be your chance to tell the good news of what? Yahweh Shah is returning, man. That's the good news. The, our Lord is coming to take us out of this captivity, man. Verse 14, it says, settle it there, therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. See that? We shouldn't even, he, the Lord is going to speak to us, man. So we ain't got to meditate and trouble ourselves. What's going to happen? What are we going to do now, man? We're going to stand boldly in the faith of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah in the name. That's why he kept us. With John 17, he said he kept us in the name. Verse 15, it says, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay, nor resist, man. So they're not going to, they're going to not, let's get the word gainsay. Let's get a quick definition. Let me see if I can get it in a blue letter. Maybe let me see how I explain, how much it explains it in this. Deny or contradict. So they're not going to be able to deny what we're saying or contradict, man. And that's plain, man. I ain't got to get in the what's NLT. I mean, not the NLT, but the, the blue letter. They're not going to be able to deny what we're saying or, or resist what we're saying, man. This is all the work of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. And we're standing faithful in the name and power of the Lord, man. But the Lord has an a, a escape route for us, man. He has an escape route for the elect. The men of the Lord that stood on the highways and byways pro professing our Lord's return, man. This is Revelation 2, verse 10. And it says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. See that? The Lord said, fear none of those things that thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. See that? To be tested. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life, man. And that's our ultimate goal is to get that crown of life. That's the ultimate goal to get the crown of life, man. To be one of the chosen of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Part of the 144,000, man. Revelation 3, verse 10. Let's get this. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. And see that the Lord is going to keep us, man. So we we, we, we don't have nothing to fear but Yahweh by Shem Shah. It says, which shall come upon all the world. See that? This what the Lord is bringing is coming to all the world, man. But the Lord said, be, um, he says, let me read 10 again. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. See that the men of the Lord are keeping the word of the Lord's patience, man. Studying, believing, prophesying. We stood firm in this word, man. And we have to endure to the end. 10 again, it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. See that? This is a test for the elect. But everybody else has not stood fast and stood firm in this word. They're going to fail, man. The test is for them to, do, to, do, to be destroyed, man. 
Verse 11, he says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown, man. So what we've learned, what we've been studying for many years now, man, the Lord says stand firm in it. Believe in it. The Lord is coming quickly. And you don't want nobody to take your crown, man. You don't want, you don't want to be the one looking in and saying, oh, man, I had a chance, man, to get the crown, to be a part of the 144,000, man. I had a chance, man. Believe in this word, man. This is not going to let us down. Yahweh Shah is not going to let us down, man. He's not going to let us down, man. And that's what we build our faith on, the Lord, man. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah? This is 1 Corinthians 9. I don't want to get this in another translation, too. This, this is dynamite. This is 1 Corinthians 9. I'm going to drop down to verse 24. Start at verse 24. Let me get this out the way. It says, let me see. There you go. It says, Know ye not that they which run a run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. And, he, and, and, and Apostle Paul was breaking this down on, on layman terms, man, because everybody can relate to sports. He says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. See that? He says, So run that ye may obtain. See that? Run, do the work, do the will of the Lord, man, so you can obtain your crown, man. He says, And every man that striveth for the, the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. See that? So LeBron James, Jacoby Bryans, Michael Jordan, they, 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 they strive to win a corruptible crown, man. But we an incorruptible crown. See that? We, we're trying to get the incorruptible crown, man. It says, I therefore so, so like, I therefore so run not to not as uncertainly, so fight I not as one that beateth the air. So basically, we're not doing this for, for the hell of it, man. We're doing this for a great reward, man. What we've been standing on highways and byways and prophesying, we're doing this for a great reward, man. We're doing this for a great reward, man. And let, let me get this in the NLT, man. Let me get this in the NLT. Make it even plainer. Sometimes the, 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 the King James, you know what I'm saying? If you read the King James, you know it. But they, they, um, the different translations hit a little harder for younger, younger men is coming into this faith. Verse 24, he says, Don't you realize that the race everyone runs, but only one prize gets like it, that only one person gets the prize? So we know the 144,000 are going to get the prize in this race we're running. He says, so run to win. And we're running to win, man. We're running to win. He says, all the all athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away. And that's how we're doing, man. We, we're, we're disciplining ourselves in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And our training, man. Studying, doing the work, man. This is our training. We're training ourselves for the, the championship. To be counted worthy to receive the crown of the out of the hands of Yahweh Shai, man. 25 again, he says, all athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away. But we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. See that? We're running in every step. We're running with a purpose, man. Doing the work is, we're doing this for a purpose, man. Every step, man, every lesson, every time we go on the highways and byways, that's a purpose, man. He says, I am not just shadow boxing. I, dis I discipline my body like an athlete, training, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might fight, it's like my... I myself might be disqualified, man. So we want to make sure we're out there doing the work of the Lord exactly how, as we, we've been doing it, man. We don't want to train to change the doctrine of going off and, and then want to switch it up, man. 
Because you're going to be disqualified in the end, man. What we've been learning for many years, man. I can say many years, man. The Lord put the spirit on us to, to learn the way he had it set up for us, man. Who you following is who the Lord wanted you to follow in the beginning, man. And I just believe through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, who we was following, we was following back in the, in, in the time of the disciples, man. In the ancient world, man. We was following these men to this very day, man. And that's just my own, that's, you know, that's just my own personal thinking. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just speaking as a man. But yeah, man, I, I believe that uh, 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 that's how it was, man. Yeah, I believe that's how it was, man. But let me get one more. Let me end it with this. This is second address too. Let me get to it. So yeah, we don't want to be qualified, man. You get to the finish line and you be disqualified. Everyone seen someone that worked hard and trained all this time and get to the finish line and get disqualified, man. And the biggest disqualification is not knowing not knowing the name and calling on the right name, man. You're gonna be disqualified, man. When it get to the end, you're gonna be disqualified, man. You don't want to be that guy, man. This is uh this is uh second address. Uh, two, and I'm gonna start at verse 42. It says, "I Ezra saw upon the Mount Zion a great people, who I, whom I could not number, and they all praised Yahweh by Shem Yahusha with songs. And in the midst of them were as a were, slacken, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon." Every one of their heads, he set crowns. That's what our goal is, man, to receive a crown from the hands of Yahweh Shem Yahusha itself, man. So as you're seeing the crowning ceremony, and what that's what we're striving to to this very day, man. We're striving to, re, to be in that crowning ceremony, man, that as you're seeing. He says, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. See, as you're seeing this, he was like, man, he was amazed at this, man. Seeing how was I giving them crowns, man? And, and by the way, uh, was one of the brothers, man, I just seen uh, a couple of days ago, man. The brother had a vision that he seen uh, Yahweh crowning men, man. And he said he just, he didn't even touch the crowns. He they he put it over top of your head and like it floated over top of your head, man. I'm not saying exactly what he, you know, what he seen in the vision, but I just, just been saying what he seen. The crown just floated over their heads, man. So this is what I strive. That's what I'm striving for. This is my ultimate goal to receive a crown from you. How about Shem Yahushua, man? And I don't want nothing to stand in that way, man. Standing at, at, at that crown of ceremony for myself, man. Verse 44, it says, so I asked the angel and said, sir, what is what are these? He answered and said unto me, these be they that put off their mortal clothing, man. So we're putting off our mortal clothing and believing in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua to the end, man. We're not believing in what this world has to offer. We believe in the Lord and what he has to offer, man. He says, and put on immortality, immort immortal, slacken, and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of power. Now are they crowned with and received palms, man. See, those men that stood stiffly for the day of the Lord, man, they were crowned and received palms, man. This is what Ezra's seen, man. And this is our ultimate goal for, it, for us to see it as well, man. Be there in that ceremony, man. That's very heavy, man. This truth is about getting crowned, man. This truth is about being crowned, you know what I'm saying? You know, we know we want to be saved and, and, and everything like that, man. But doing this, I would say the, the men of the Lord is doing the work. This is this is our goal, man, to be crowned. This is our goal, to be crowned by Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, man. Every man that's preaching this word, is doing the work, doing your lessons, going on highways and byways, this is your goal. This is your goal, man. Verse 45. He answered and said unto me, these be they that put off the mortal clothing and put on immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh Shem Yahushua, power. See that? 
And that goes to show you that you can't be confessing most high Christ blessed or Jesus or Christ. You're not going to be in that ceremony, man, if you call on another God, man. Because he said he, they put off the mortal clothing and put on immortal and, and have confessed the name of power, man. So we're not calling on no other God, man. We call on the true and living power, Yahweh, Mahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. We're confessing that name. He says, now are they crowned and receive palms? Then said I unto the angel, what young man is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of man, which we know that's Yahweh Shai, man whom they have confessed in the world. See that? We're confessing the Lord in the world, man. And that's why the Lord said he's going to speak through it. In the time we're being persecuted, the Lord, the Lord said, don't worry about what you're going to say, man. We're gonna, this is going to be our testimony. This is our good news, man. The Lord is coming, man. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is on his way, man. 47, he says, so he answered and said unto me, it is the son of man, Yahweh Shai, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. So Ezra seen it. He, 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 was, he, he commended us. And Ezra's going to be in that ceremony too, man. So he just seen the vision before it came to pass, man. And through the spirit, it already came to pass, man. We just got to endure to the end, man. We got to endure to the end, man. But the Lord, but as you've seen them, he commended those men that stood so stiffly, man. Doing the work, man. Doing the work, man. So the angels make a record, man, they make a report to the Lord for that, man. Verse 48, he says, then the, then the angel said unto me, go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh thy power thou hast seen, man. So the, so the Lord had Ezra wrote write it down for us to see it, man. We can see it through the spirit. But we know, Lord willing, if we endure to the end, man, we will get crowned, man. By Yahweh by Shem Yahweh So Lord willing was edifying, I'm gonna end it there. Shalom. Shalom. Okay.